Christmas. But the start of the trip has been overshadowed by two Secret Service agents on the advance team who were involved in an embarrassing incident in order to return to the States. CBS's Nancy Cordes is traveling with the president. The incident happened one day before President Biden landed in Seoul at his hotel. Sources tell CBS News that two Secret Service employees who were helping to prepare for the president's visit went out for a night of bar hopping. One of them allegedly got into a drunken altercation with a taxi driver. The Secret Service says the two were put on a plane back home and will be placed on administrative leave. It isn't the first time Secret Service agents have been accused of going overboard abroad. A prostitution scandal in Cartagena, Colombia in 2012 led to a new agency policy. No alcohol 10 hours before the start of a shift. The president is in Asia to bolster U.S. alliances at an uncertain time. Here in Seoul, he stressed the need to establish new supply chains that don't rely on competitors like Russia and China. A critical component of how we'll do that, in my view, is by working with close partners who do share our values, like the Republic of Korea. As he spoke, China was flexing its muscle with new military exercises in the disputed South China Sea. The White House was also bracing for a possible North Korean nuclear test. The Hermit Kingdom has already launched more missiles in 2022 than the previous two years combined. Ryu Hyun Woo, a former diplomat who defected from North Korea in 2019, says there's a reason those tests are ramping up. Right now is good timing, he says, because currently the U.S. is busy with the war in Ukraine. President Biden will stay in Seoul for another day and a half, meeting with the new South Korean president and with U.S. service members. From here, he heads to Tokyo for an economic summit with the leaders of Japan, Australia, and India. Nora? Nancy Gordon in Seoul for us tonight. Thank you.